Hi, I'm Josh Abbott. In this video, I'm going to go over the server requirements for the latest version of the LFM software. Now, a lot of hosting providers will allow you to set all of these settings right here inside of your cPanel account, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, if you're on a dedicated server and you have access to WHM, there's another way to do this using Easy Apache, and I'm going to go over that in another video. And if you don't have access to either of these options, just send this page to your hosting provider and they should be able to set all of this up for you. So if your hosting provider allows you to set this in cPanel, when you scroll down, you're going to look for an icon that says select PHP version. Now this icon might look a little different depending on your host, but it should say select PHP version and when you click on it, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. What you're going to want to do is from this drop down that says PHP version, you're going to want to select PHP 5.6, and then you're going to click this button that says Set as Current. So now it's set to PHP 5.6. And now I'm going to go through this list of extensions, and I'm not going to uncheck anything that's already checked, but there's a few things here that I want to make sure that are checked because they're required by the LFM software. So I'm going to look for the extension that says GD and I'm going to make sure that that's checked. I'm going to look for Ion Cube Loader and I'm going to make sure that that's checked. I'm going to look for Mcrypt and I'm going to make sure that that's checked. I'm going to look for MySQLi and I'm going to make sure that that's checked. Then I'm going to look for zip, and I'm going to make sure that that's checked. So the things that need to be checked are GD, Ion Cube Loader, Mcrypt, MySQLi, and zip. And after I've made sure that all these things are checked, I'm going to click Save. And that's it. And that's all that I should need to do. So now I should be ready to install LFM on my hosting account. But now I'm going to go over a few advanced settings that aren't required. You don't have to do this, but if you do, it might help things run a little bit smoother. I'm going to click on Switch to PHP Options. And some of the, I'm just going to change a few of these settings. So the first one is air reporting, and I'm going to click on this. And now not every hosting provider have this, but some of them will. And under air reporting, one of the options might be e-all and not e-notice and not e-deprecated. And if your hosting provider has this option, I'm going to select that, and I'm going to hit apply. Next thing that I recommend changing is max execution time. I recommend setting this to 300. I'm going to click apply. Max file uploads. I recommend setting this to 100 and click apply. And then memory limit. I recommend setting this to 128 megabytes and click apply. For post max size, I'm going to select this 64 megabytes should be good. So I'm going to select 64M and click apply. And then upload max file size. I'm going to set this to 64 and click apply. And again, none of this is required, but if your hosting provider provides these options and you know how to change them, it will just help things run a little bit smoother and It'll use a little bit less disk space. So I've changed air reporting to not e, to e all and not e notice and not e deprecated. I've changed max execution time to 300. I changed max file uploads to 100. I set the memory limit to 128M. I set max post max size to 64M. And I set 
upload max file size to 64M, and then I'm just going to click Save. So again, these are some optional things that if your hosting provider provides these options, they help things run a little bit smoother. And that's it. So now you should be ready to install the latest version of LFM. If you have any questions, then please don't hesitate to contact our support desk, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.